Now she decides it's time to land. Actually, oh, I should have taken this one al away here first. So it's time to land, but I need to be at approximately the same speed first here, so let's keep it at 45 meters per second. So actually, let's move this back in here. So it stays at 45 meters per second, still moving to the right. But now, I want to land, which means I have to go down. In order to do so, I need a force, and that force needs to point down. And notice that that force now changes the direction of the airplane. It's going down, so the airplane itself is going to the lower right. Now she decides, you know, I don't want to keep on um, um, having being almost here in free fall. I don't want to um, fall faster and faster, so I may want to actually keep the lift equal to the weight, which means I have no net force, and my acceleration is zero, therefore, and the velocity is constant, but I'm also already going down, so that still means I'm going down, but my net force is zero. and my velocity is constant, that's exactly what I mean. So she keeps going down, now she's gonna see the runway, so the runway is gonna come into the picture here. She may want to slow down before she um, gets there, so she reduces the thrust, and that will reduce her velocity in the horizontal, so perhaps this one here will be 30 meters per second, just as her takeoff speed was earlier. So now she is approaching the runway, and there it is. And now, oops, didn't mean to do that. I think I moved this way. There we go, there we go. Okay, now, once she has reached the runway, of course, the velocity needs to be horizontal again and that means that the force and the acceleration actually momentarily have to point upward in order to make the velocity going from pointing down towards horizontal. How did that happen? Well, it's the landing on the runway, now there's the support force from the runway pushing up and that gives a net force that points upwards. Okay, now of course she is slowing down on the runway, so she needs a net force to point to the left, so she increases the drag on the airplane and that decreases the velocity then to, at some point, to zero meters per second. And then she is at a standstill and then there is no drag left because she wouldn't be moving anymore and she um, there is no thrust either and the net force is zero, the acceleration is zero, velocity is constant and the airplane is just standing there. And with that I hope I was able to explain what it means when you have an acceleration which is caused by a force, by a net force, what it means to the velocity, how the velocity the speed is increasing, decreasing, how it changes direction.